ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the mini. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, Sipping walk, uh, make my heart start. Uh, Are they uh, Yeah, my love, my thigh. Uh, yo, I let go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro, I guess you can say. Just some gameplay um, of my use with the Final Mouse uh, Ultralight Pro, which is one of the older versions of the Final Mouse. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the review. So first I want to talk about the clicks. So the clicks on the Final Mouse Pro are armor on 20 mils, uh, which I actually soldered in KL 8.0s. So they are a little bit different. I can't really say for a stock wise, but with the KL 8.0s, the clicks feel nice. There's not too much Cree. Uh, Pre-travel on both clicks. There is a little bit of post, but one problem I do have which I actually had before I soldered in new switches Was if I actually click too hard on the mouse it kind of like makes a weird crunch noise and uh, Makes like another weird click after I actually actuate the switch um, Here's a little sound test Uh, I don't know if you can hear this. Here's here's me trying to click. This is me trying to click really hard to make the crunch noise. So that little noise is actually the crunch or whatever when you bottom out here, and then you can kind of press in more. So there is some weird problem there with the clicks, uh, at least on my left click. But besides that, the clicks honestly feel really good. And there's barely any wobble either with these switches or with the clicks. So overall, for an uh, older mouse, um, it feels pretty good. So on the buttons, uh, side buttons, there are there is a good bit of a pre-travel. Um, it does kind of wobble a lot too. It does take a little bit for the button to actually actuate. Uh, my camera's not really picking up on it too well, but uh, trust me, there is a good bit of pre-travel. There also is a good bit of post-travel too. Uh, but honestly, it doesn't really affect you in game and if anything it kind of just makes the buttons feel uh, Even more sa um, Satisfying to click and I will say they are pretty tactile So the scroll wheel on the ultralight pro is actually pretty smooth. It's one of the small uh, smoothest scroll wheels I've actually uh, ever tried before and um, One if I had to make a comparison I would say it actually is pre pretty similar to the ultralight 2 and the air 58 i will say the ultra light 2 does feel a little bit more tactile and that i think is because of the actual um rubber on the scroll wheel uh, which i do want to get into so if you scroll too white lightly on this mouse uh at least on my models the the only thing that'll move is the rubber but not the uh scroll wheel so it'll not like scroll in the in, in the encoder where it'll actually scroll on the screen which is kind of weird and i have had some i guess mishaps with that uh only a couple times um, but it is something I do want to point out but for the most part I actually do like the scroll wheel a lot it is pretty smooth and it does not require too much force to actually uh, scroll like these uh, like the uh, starlight 12 uh, you actually do have to put a good bit of force to actually uh, scroll but with this it's very light and easy to uh, go up or down also the middle mouse button is kind of mushy and not tactile at all and it does require, I would say, a decent amount of force to actually press in the middle mouse button. So the DPI button on the uh, mouse uh, is pretty light and doesn't require too much force to actually actuate. Um, and it actually is kind of tactile. Um, but, okay, so these, there's four steps, 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. Um, the actual feet on the mouse are uh, stock-wise are black Teflon, which are very scratchy and not smooth at all. So it is basically a must to upgrade this, which I'm currently using Hyperglides on. And honestly, this is on the uh, this is on the uh, Jupiter, which is a control pad from Lethal Gaming Gear. And for the most part, they honestly glide really well. Um, well, granted, this is not stock, but um, 
yeah, basically, uh, it is a must. So get hyperglides or a third party fee you guys like. Go to Lethal Gaming Gear. So next, what I want to talk about is the cable on this mouse. And as you can see, this is actually a third party cable from Agile Cables. They sadly no longer make cables, but you can. Uh, there, there are plenty of sites where you can find your own. This is the actual stock cable, and uh, it is not. It is very bad and really outdated. Uh, it's not flexible and it's very tightly weaved. So this is actually one of the cables they used on their mice before they reached their um, phantom cord or whatever with the uh, model, the phantom model. And uh, yeah, it's just overall, it's a really bad cable. So uh, also like upgrading the fee, I also would recommend upgrading the cable too. So next what I wanna talk about is the sensor on this mouse. So the, so the mouse is using a Pixar 3360 uh, which, in my opinion, at least on this model, it does feel a little bit floaty. Um, I don't know why. Like, when I use the Starlight 12, for example, uh, it just feels, when I use, it just feels a little bit floaty. But besides that, I've had no really real issues. It just took me some time getting used to it. Um, I don't know if maybe the DPI is maybe higher or something, but it does feel a little different from a normal... Uh, Pixar 3360. So the coating on the Final Mouse Pro is actually just a basic matte finish, but as you can see, this is not a regular Ultralight Pro. So I originally got this on eBay. Uh, it was actually a Sunset Pro, which is an orange color. I'll throw up a picture on the screen right now. Uh, but I actually spray painted it white because I kind of wanted to, it to match the power cord. Uh, so I cannot, unfor unfortunately, I cannot uh, speak for it stock-wise of the, the of. I cannot speak for the coating of the mouse stock wise, um, but all I can really say it is a it is a matte finish. So, yeah. So the actual shape of the uh, Final Mouse Pro is super huge. Uh, it is actually the exact same shape as the Air 58, uh, but just 10 gra grams heavier, around 70 ish grams, give or take a few. Um, but yeah, so the shape. So if you have big hands, I highly recommend this mouse, especially if you like to claw grip. Granted, I do have smaller hands, so I was not the biggest fan of the shape just because of how big it was. Um, I found I found that hitting targets and stuff was a little bit harder because it's just it's a little too big to, for me, and it was kind of hard to be super precise with my shots. But I will say it is a very comfortable shape, which I think the majority of the people will like. Also, the the actual hump of the mouse is towards the middle of it. And uh, it starts to fall off in the front and back of the mouse. Uh, it does not have a very big butt, but a very long one, if that makes sense. Um, like generally speaking, it's big, but not. It's not like an end ga end game gear. You know that has a very big butt or a uh, or a Zowie mice. Um, but again, this is a very big mouse, and also it does kind of get narrower towards the middle, and then flares out just a little bit towards the front and back of the mouse. So currently on eBay right now, the Final Mouse Pro is going for 300 plus dollars. So if you wanna waste your money on an outdated mouse, go for it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much for the support. Boy, he got a glide, huh? Oh my God, huh? Boy, that boy on top, huh? Sip and walk, huh? Make my heart stop, huh? What? Adio, huh? Yo, 